Hey all! So this evening I am going to be giving myself a stick and poke tattoo. Um, I've kind of wanted to uh, get a new tattoo, it's been a couple of months. The last tattoos that I got were these little bumblebees that are on my wrists, you may have seen them in other videos. And it's been uh, about four months since I've had a tattoo and now since there are so many things going on in the world, there are uh, protests, there's coronavirus, there's just a lot happening. I want something to remind me of this time. So I designed a little skull tattoo. I've wanted a skull. It doesn't really have anything to do with the fact that corona is happening, but um, Anyway, I am going to give myself a stick and poke tattoo and basically talk you through the hygienic, safe, um, responsible way of giving yourself stick and poke tattoo because a lot of people don't use proper protective gear, they don't use sterilization agents, they don't use um, ink or needles that should be anywhere near your skin. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna talk you through this. If you are under the age of 18 or the illegal age to get a tattoo in whichever country that you reside in, please do not take this as like a tutorial to use to spite your parents and give yourself a shitty little tattoo when you're like 16 years old or the illegal age. It's not gonna end well for you and also I am not your scapegoat. Don't use me as an excuse to tell your parents that, uh, it's okay because I did it the correct way and I was safe. No, I don't condone underage people giving themselves tattoos. I did and it, I literally scratched the tattoo out of my skin because I didn't understand that tattoos raise. It's not gonna end well for you. Just wait until it is legal for you to get tattoos, get tattoos, and live your life. But before you are like the legal age, this is not the video for you and you should not be giving yourself tattoos. I just need to say that because I don't condone underage tattooing. Okay, and um, with that out of the way, I need to clean my desk off because it is a royal disaster. It's honestly kind of like a tornado of chaos and definitely needs a good cleaning because um, this surface has been covered in like every single food substance I've eaten for the last couple of months and I don't want that in my tattoo. So I'm gonna sterilize my desk. I'm going to prep and get all of my um, gear for tattooing and show you what that is. And then I'm gonna go to town and give myself a little skull tattoo. I may also um, touch up this tattoo. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. This like Eye of Sauron kind of Eye of Providence tattoo that I have going on. This one I gave myself um, last year. Yeah, no, actually I finished it this year. Um, but I gave myself this tattoo and there are a couple spots in this tattoo that could like use a touch up that are fading a little quickly. So I may, if I have time, touch up this tattoo this evening. And yeah, so let's get started with the very, very extremely long montages and time lapses of me tattooing myself and cleaning my desk. a broken glass. It has this like giant crack in it up the side. I don't even know if you can see that right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Why is this on my desk? Why haven't I thrown this away? <laughs> Yes, I'm a pothead. Don't judge me. I just wanted to show you this bag of wax I've been collecting uh, that I'm going to use and melt down and create some interesting project later. So my desk is clean. 
finally for the first time in like since I put out that getting my shit together video. Uh, it's quite nice. I'm very pleased with the results. And now I'm just gonna go through kind of like the stuff that you need to give yourself a stick and poke tattoo while avoiding giving yourself any diseases. First off, you need proper tattoo needles. I get my tattoo needles uh, from Mithra. They come in these little boxes of 50 tattoo needles and in these little packages that are nice and sealed up. So they should be sterilized. Professional tattoo artists do use uh, high pressurized steamers to sterilize their tattoo needles before using them, but that's not entirely necessary. It's just uh, like a professional standard level to make sure that your needles are like absolutely germ-free. I don't have a high pressurized steamer. Need some needles. And also, side note, if I hear of anyone who has seen this video tattooing themselves with embroidery needles, I will be coming after you with vengeance and I will not be happy because that is so bad for your body. Please take care of yourself. The next up, gloves uh, that I may or may not have stolen from my last bakery job. Nextly, we have the tattoo ink, which actually, um, this shows how absolutely unprofessional I am because I don't use actual tattoo ink. I use this thing, it's called Pelican Ink. Uh, you can find it at Blick. Uh, it's by the India Ink, which is also a good substitute for this ink. They're both good options for like a dupe of actual tattoo ink. Um, I would know because this circular tattoo, as you can see on my arm, this was done in the fall of 2016 using this brand of ink. So we have determined that you cannot get poisoned by this ink through trial and error and me just simply living my life. Next, a pen, a ballpoint pen, which doesn't seem like that interesting, but this is the thing that you're gonna use to draw on your arm and ballpoint ink isn't toxic for the human body. So please, ballpoint pens, use one of them, um, or if you have a different kind of pen, please research what type of ink it is and if it does have like detrimental effects on the human body because we're trying to stay safe. This is very small. You're gonna need a little like pot to hold your ink with. So um, I just grabbed, I think this is a, this is a naked cap from a naked juice because I'm obsessed with drinking this stuff but I just washed this and then boiled it and now it's ready to go. I've also used it before, hence why it's black on the inside. Next, you're gonna want some disinfecting agent. Uh, this is the 91% isopropyl alcohol, which I actually need to buy more of. Um, you're gonna need this uh, while you're tattooing yourself to like disinfect the area, get rid of excess ink, remove the pattern and just like keep the entirety of your situation nice and clean. This uh, is just a standard roll of, um, what's it called? Oh my God, did I forget the word for this? You know when you just lose the ability to remember a very specific simple English word or any kind of word in general? That's what I'm doing right now. Paper towels! Holy Jesus, that took me way too long. Uh, you just need a standard roll of paper towels. Um, I would have like a, a pretty big like roll or just amount in general on hand, just in case anything happens. This is what you're gonna use to put down on top of your station uh, to keep the ink from spreading. This is also what you're gonna use to wipe your tattoo with the isopropyl alcohol. So nice and handy to have these on hand. That's everything you need to actually tattoo yourself. Now we're gonna talk about the stuff that you need to keep your tattoo clean. So firstly, you're gonna need cling wrap. This is what you're gonna wrap your tattoo with once you're done. Um, just make sure that it's uh, nice and clean and not gross and covered in grime like this one is. I don't, you cannot see the outside of this box, but it's 
sticky to the touch and I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm gonna wash my hands before I start again because I don't wanna touch this box and then touch my skin. Next, you're gonna want a good lotion. Um, I use the Luberderm Dermatologist Developed Advanced Therapy Lotion with uh, that's really good for extra like dry skin for hydration. You need a lotion that doesn't have any fragrance and is like recommended by dermatologists or is just like meant for medical purposes because this is what you're gonna use to keep your tattoo from drying out while it's healing. And last but not least, this, well, it kind of is least because it's the least interesting like tool that you're gonna need to tattoo yourself is just a roll of tape to like keep the cling wrap on your arm. My cling wrap is so old and disgusting that it doesn't actually like stick to itself. So gotta use some good old scotch tape. And that is all of the like stuff that you basically need to give yourself a tattoo while remaining in the hygienic region. Let's get into it. All right, now that I've popped on some gloves, it is time to prep the station that I'm going to tattoo on. And from this point on, um, anyone who's tattooing themselves, please remember germs are the enemy. You are trying to keep everything as sterilized as possible. So don't touch your computer. Don't like do other things or, you know, just put yourself in harm's way. Be careful and, you know, let's go from there. Let's see. So what you're gonna do is take a nice liberal, I usually take like four little sheets of the paper towel, put it down on front of me. Um, this is also gonna be a nightmare to film on because my camera does not know how to white balance itself anymore. It's so old, sorry about that. But um, you set up this little fucker, put out some paper towels, grab some extras because this is what you're gonna use to like dab down your tattoo while you're working. So just creating a couple of little like pieces that you'll fold up on each other. I'm gonna make like eight. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Eight of these that you just have on hand so that when you're working, you can just like disinfect and continue on with your existence. Let's see, then we're gonna pour out the ink into my little pot. You don't need to actually put very much ink in, just so you know. It's not one of those situations where it's like, you have to have an overwhelming amount of ink. You can always add more as well while you're working um, because the ink will dry out while you're tattooing yourself. For those of you who don't know, um, tattooing yourself actually is a lot more time consuming of a process than getting tattooed, which is already a time consuming process, simply for the fact that stabbing yourself with little needles hurts and your body is going to reject that pain even if like mentally you're okay with getting tattoos. Stick and poking yourself is slightly different than receiving a tattoo. So just make sure you carve out a bunch of time and your ink may start to evaporate. Um, so just, you know, adding in a little ink once in a while will do the trick. And um, yeah, you can go from there. Next, I'm going to pick the type of needle that I want to use. I actually have two different types of needles. I have a thinner, I think it's a three pronged needle and then I have a thicker, four pronged needle with a slightly larger gauge of uh, wire. So I think I'm actually gonna use the smaller one um, with this instance of tattooing myself because I want a tiny skull. What can I say? So yeah, let's boogie. Alright, so tattoos to me, designs that just spark joy in me. I, I think of my own like tattoo collection as kind of like a gallery on my own skin, like the personal art that I carry with me everywhere. Um, a lot of people, especially traditionalists, think that tattoos are supposed to represent like memories or meanings or people, but to me, honestly, they just come with memories. So I don't feel like my tattoos specifically have to mean something. They can just look aesthetically pleasing on your body. That's kind of how 
I look at it. Yeah, tattoos are a beautiful art form to me. One freshly consumed dinner and an hour and a half later, and I am feeling a lot better and ready to continue tattooing myself. People have been getting tattooed for thousands of years. Look at the Iceman that was found in a glacier, and they had tattoos depicting hunting and wildlife all over their body for like spiritual protection. There are cultures in the like Southeast Asia that have beautifully geometric patterns that are delicately tapped into skin. There are many, many, many cultures around the world that use tattoos. They have such a wide variation significance that I am so proud to be part of the tattoo culture and be a tattooed individual. So I've just noticed something because I switched the tattoo needles that I was using. Um, I had a hunch that it was something to do with the needle itself that was giving me such like thin, uh, not so opaque dark lines in my tattoo. And I was completely correct. I just filled in the eyeball of my skull with this needle, the uh, different gauge of tattoo needle and it looks like three to five shades darker than the other one. So I was struggling for absolutely no reason. Make sure to uh, have a couple of different gauges on hand, I guess, because, well, I was fucking wrong. Good to know. It's a learning experience for all of us. <laughs> I also have like considered in the past becoming a tattoo artist and I still would like to get formalized training in how to use tattoo guns and like all of the specific procedures involved in like getting your license and everything but I don't think I will ever be a full-time tattoo artist. I would just like to have that skill set on hand so that I could use like a tattoo gun on myself effectively and also tattoo my friends because I like to share my, uh, my talents and my abilities with the people that I love. Some things that you wanna keep in mind is having a little piece of dry paper towel on hand and also another piece of paper towel that has the isopropyl alcohol on it is a good option while you're like stick and poking yourself because I have a sneaking suspicion that I was actually pulling the ink out of my skin with the isopropyl alcohol in the very beginning. I was barely making a dent. The ink was not staying in my skin. So by using that dry paper towel first to wipe away the excess ink that builds up on the outside of your skin, um, it just gives you a way to look at what you're doing without you know, removing the ink from the hole that you just created in your body. So uh, I have finished the face. I have finished the, like filling in the eyeballs, putting in the little nostril slits, and then the two uh, lines for the teeth. And now I am going to go to sleep because it is 11 o'clock at night and I am ready to pass out. Um, I'm gonna wrap up my arm and show you how to do that. And then I'm going to come back to my tattoo tomorrow when I wake up and uh, disinfect and then go over the outer line of the face, extend the eyeballs a little bit and just, you know, touch everything up. And that will be the conclusion of my stick and poke skull tattoo. So to wrap up a tattoo, um, the best way to do it is first disinfect, which I have already done. Uh, you basically just get rid of all the like excess ink that has accumulated on your arm. Put a little bit of lotion all over the area. Um, that was too much. Oh my God. I'm a genius. All right. Once you've applied like a nice coating of lotion, grab a nice length of cling wrap, which looks like I need to buy some more cling wrap when I go to Mariano's tomorrow because that was the very end of the roll. Uh, you place that over your tattoo, 
Honestly, I don't need a piece this big. You don't need to cover like your entire arm. So I'm gonna cut this down to size with a pair of scissors. Oh. You can just place it on your tattoo at about the size that you want and then take it off. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, wow, this is really old cling wrap. What the fuck? I'm gonna try and keep the same spot of lotion because there is now like a little thing of lotion right here uh, that you can see. I'm gonna try and keep that as like the center of my tattoo ness um, or tattoo protection shell. I don't know. Anyway, place that over your tattoo. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just like nice wrap it around your arm. It does not have to be super tight, but you do want to make sure, at least in my case, I want to make sure that um, all of the little like excess frilly bits are kind of held down and as you can see, it's not sticking to itself. Hence the tape that I mentioned earlier. Um, you just want to keep all the little frilly bits away from, I'm going to want to keep them away from my hand because moving around the rest of this evening is going to be a little bit cumbersome if I have cling wrap uh, that's just messing with me. So there we go. Nice and wrapped up. So the reason that you want to wrap your tattoo after you're done, you know, getting a tattoo or doing one on yourself is to stop all the little like fibers that live in your bed and make up your bed um, from getting in what is essentially a wound on your body. After uh, I get my, you know, tattoo done uh, tomorrow, because I'm gonna be doing this in the morning, I actually won't need to put a wrap on my arm because throughout the day, it's gonna create its own type of, literally a scab over the abrasion on my arm. Yeah, that's it, it's basically gonna be fine. What I do want to mention before I fuck off and go relax um, is that when you wrap your arm with Scylla, the, the cling wrap, that's what it's called. Uh, when you wrap your tattoo with cling wrap, you want to only do it for that first evening or that first day after you get a tattoo please do not wrap your tattoo the second day after because honestly, the best thing for a newly minted tattoo is fresh air. The, the tattoo literally needs to breathe in order to create the like scab that will encase it and help the ink sink into your skin. So if you wrap your arm the second night and you keep like wrapping your arm and you know, blah, blah, heat will build up and that'll create moisture, which will stop your tattoo from healing as quickly. So just do it the first night. You really don't have to do it the second night. So y'all have a nice night and I will see you in one second. Hey, so it's the next morning. I've had a good night's sleep, I've watched some crime documentaries, woken up, and now I am ready to continue tattooing myself. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, not very puffy, holding its color pretty well. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get into it. One thing I do wanna mention too, is when you're done with your tattoo, when you're completely finished with the process, um, I keep the little sleeves, the, the tattoo needles. And what I do to make sure that somebody won't like get stabbed and hurt, uh, after I throw this away is I'll take the little sleeve, put the tattoo needle in it, close it up with some tape on both ends. And then it's effectively a piece of trash, but it won't stab anyone. I'm hoping. I am not a professional tattoo artist. And I know this is probably not the correct way to like throw away your tattoo needles. There's probably some very like professional procedure to do this, but I have to throw them away somehow. And I would rather have like a little bit of an insurance policy than nothing at all.
So I've cleaned up the tattoo and it's looking really good now. Um, definitely using the thicker gauge of needle has helped with like defining the characteristics of my little skull tattoo a lot better. Um, I also did having more ink in the pot allowed me to like fully submerge my needle to gather as much ink on it as possible before I start to stick and poke. And I think that was a lot more helpful than just having like a couple of drops, a little bit of ink in there. So yes, fill your cap, fill your pot up with slightly more ink. And that might help uh, do the trick. But now, uh, now that I've finished tattooing um, the little skull, it's all prepped and ready. I'm honestly kind of uh, just done with that specific tattoo. I'm going to actually move on and do a little bit of the touch up on my Eye of Sauron tattoo that's next to it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna get into now. Another good reason to put paper towels down is I just spilled ink everywhere. Um, make sure you keep your station clean, guys. my tattoo and my tattoo touch-up. Uh, they're looking pretty good. I'm uh, actually really pleased with how they turned out. And yes, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if you wanna see more content like this or just all the weird things that I get up to, uh, feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications when I post. Uh, my Instagram will be linked down below or I'll just, it'll be up on the screen right here. Uh, it's really the only social media that I have, so yeah. Anyway, I hope all of you uh, enjoyed this video and thought it was kind of helpful. If you're interested in the idea of getting tattoos or giving them to yourself. Um, again, I want to reiterate, anyone under the age of 18, please do not use this information. If it is illegal for you to get a tattoo because you are too young, just wait. Just wait, it'll be a lot better. You won't have to fight with your parents. It it will be legal. I don't condone underage tattoo art tests. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you in the comment section.